Yeah, when Ramadan started this year, we thought, Alhamdulillah, finally the, the, our, our leaders and our organizations are taking a stance. Many organizations such as ANIC, they release statements such as this, where they say the Australian National Imams Council representatives will not be attending the Premier's Iftar dinner this year. They said, we are boycotting the politicians because of your support of the genocide that is happening in Gaza. But with the recent stabbings that have occurred in Sydney, specifically the stabbing of the bishop by a 16-year-old, what they're saying, Muslim boy, Chris Mims, the Premier, had an emergency meeting and he called in the sheikhs and the organizations to attend this meeting. And like slaves to the master, they all rushed to attend this meeting and it was held in the Christian Maronite church as a way of humiliating them. And you can see them here, here in this photo, all looking nice and happy, one big family, looking all priestly, they got their turbans on. And in this meeting, I suspect, the Premier laid down the law and he spoke down to them and commanded them, you need to go out your communities, you need to deal with this terrorism issue and you need to start condemning and putting out statements. So like good little slaves, they come out and rush, statement after statement, we condemn and we're, we're against violence and we're sending our peace and our, and our prayers and our love to everyone and this has no place in the Australian community. So what this proves to us is that original stance they took in Ramadan to boycott was not actually their decision. The politicians themselves would never have come to attend our masjids. Can you imagine the reaction of the Muslims towards any politician that comes into the masjid after the support of the genocide? Can you imagine the reaction to the imams if they bring these politicians after the support of these politicians for the genocide? Had it really been their position and their stance, when the premier now called them like slaves, they would have said, hold on a second, we're not your slave, we're not going to dance every time you ask us to dance. Don't come and lecture us about terrorism and violence. You guys are the biggest supporters of genocide and terrorism that is occurring in front of our very eyes. You are funding it. You are aiding it. You are supporting it. So don't come around and lecture the Muslim community. We're not your slaves. Sydney has a violence problem. Sydney has a knife problem. We can see all the recent stabbings and, and knife violence. So you have a police force. You deal with it. This is your issue. This is not the Muslim community. Our stance is very clear. So we're not going to play to your tunes. We're not your slaves. We're not going to play to your agenda. We have our own agenda. That's the agenda of Islam. And we're going to stand strong and firm on our beliefs and refuse to support you or aid you while you support the genocide that is happening in Gaza. Had they taken this stance, then the Muslim community would have been rallied behind them and we would have had leaders to be proud of that are really serving the community and Islam.